Bulldogs. You have a 50% chance of thunderstorms on Friday and Saturday and heading into your week next week, it looks like temperatures will be in the 70s. See you next week. Back to the studio. Launching this week as a way to highlight our club organizations here on campus is the Swasu Club Showcase. Who doesn't like free advertising? So if you're looking to promote your club or organization, please email your request to Dr. Lisa Boyles at this email address. Our first two examples are going to be covering the Casual Gaming Club and Delight Ministries. Hi, today we're excited to spotlight a brand new club that was founded this semester. We encourage any students that are looking or thinking about opening their own club to just go ahead and try it out. So today, Dax, what would you like to tell us about your club? Um, our club is just a casual place for individuals to come and have fun playing games. And it's not just video games. It's board games, card games, tabletops, anything. And it's just a casual experience if you're not feeling that the esports team or anything of that sort is really your vibe. It's just more just having fun and making fun. Awesome. I'm Deanna Modesto and I am here with Julian Henry and Taylor Javorski with Delight Ministries. Can you tell me a little bit about the members of your club? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we have a couple positions on the leadership team. So we have team director who's actually Taylor. We have um, community, community events coordinator. Um, mm -hmm. That's my position. Uh, Kelsey Watkins, she is our cert treasurer. She's, She's our treasurer. She's our treasurer. <laughs> Um, we have, who else do we have? Holly. Holly, is, she runs our social mm -hmm. media. Follow us on Instagram, delight underscore swasu. Just had to slide that in. <laughs> Shameless plug, no big deal. Booma, leg jack, she is our book coordinator. I want to be her when I grow up. Me too. Me too. <laughs> and then we have Kimberly Lippincott. She is our worship leader. Mm -hmm. And Erin Leeser, she is our service events leader and our prayer leader. She's super awesome. All of our girls are awesome. She wears many hats. She for does sure. wear many hats. She's kind of awesome. <laughs> she does. Was that seven? Did we get to seven? Yeah, we did get to okay, seven. Okay, then yeah, those are our members. <laughs> and who would you contact to be involved with your club? Honestly, yeah. any of us. Yeah, we like, would all pick up and We, I, I think one thing that we kind of started with is we were like DMing girls, like each one of us personally yeah. from like um, like the Delight Instagram page, just so people like feel like they're wanted and known on campus. Um, just when it does come from somebody like personal and we'll always like introduce ourselves, but anytime that we see a girl mm -hmm. on campus, we just try to like reach you and be like, hey, have you heard about Delight? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And so like any of us yeah. are great people to start For with. Sure. Probably the best way to get in contact with us is by DMing our Instagram. Yeah. We're sure. like all logged in. So you <laughs> reply like pretty fast. You're gonna get a reply, I promise. So probably our Instagram, but if not, you can search my name up and email me or DM me personally. However you feel comfortable, do that, and we'll get back to you for sure. And how often do y'all meet? So we meet every Thursday at 8 o'clock um, in Wellness 221. 221. Unless Instagram or our group me says otherwise. <laughs> and what would y'all say that your mission here on campus is? So I would say that Delight's mission is just to create a safe space for girls from all different walks of life, all different church backgrounds, even if you don't know Jesus, we just want to create that safe environment that you can come, you're not going to be judged, um, you come in and you just make friends and you just get to know about our amazing creator and it's just a really special time. Um, we have girls that like are roommates now because of Delight. I've been in several weddings now because of Delight. And it's just such an awesome space because everyone's vulnerable. We're all real. You can come, you don't have to feel like you're being someone that you're not. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about Delight is it's absolutely free. Um, it's come when you can, not like we don't take attendance. I mean, we do, but it's not mandatory. We just want you to come when you can. We understand like you have school, you have work. We just want to be there for you whenever we can. And whenever we're hype girl. Yes, we're hype girl. Like, I, if you walk in, I guarantee you're going to get a compliment. You're probably going to be invited for coffee, probably for me, because I'm addicted. Um, but it's just really a fun time. And we have lots of cool things that we do, too. Games, community events, which is her area of expertise. She's super awesome. 
we just do a lot and it's a lot of fun and it's just a great thing to be a part of and I would just like to personally invite you um, onto campus and to just be my friend. I love making new friends. So <laughs> that's the life mission is I guess to <laughs> make friends and love Jesus. <laughs> Do y'all have any events coming up that you would like everyone to know about? Yeah, so we're planning several several in the works but probably the closest one we're going to have is we'll have a worship event um, at the end of October, and then after that worship event, we want to all go to the corn maze together. Yeah, the one um, in Weatherford. Yeah, the P-Bar Farms one, and so we'll be doing that together, and that's probably our next event, but we also do pop-ups, which is mm -hmm. where, like, girls, not just leaders, but any girls can host, and, like, I had a game that once, and, like, girls got to see my competitive side <laughs> come out, full send, um, and so we do lots of things throughout the semester, and we do service events, and um, throughout the semester as well, which are really cool. And you get volunteer hours from those. Well, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah. You Thank should come. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think I might. That sounds so cool. Um, I believe that's everything. Thank you for joining us. Our sports reporters this week were able to get an exclusive interview with one of our football players. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's sports edition for the Southwestern. I'm Aubin Fippen. I'm Rachel Masson. And I'm Nate Bernard. And we, like you said, this is Nate. We're going to be doing an interview for football and just have a few questions for him. If Rachel, you want to start off? Yes, so Nate, how do you feel this season has been different than last season? Um, I feel like there's more of an urgency and a drive to compete. Last season we didn't have, have one due to COVID, so there was more of a there was more of getting everything prepared and having all the preparation, all the plays and everything set together, but now it's actually time to get ready for it. So it's there's there's more urgency and there's more uh there's more like I guess a pep in everybody's step kind of to it. All right. Um so I know that there has been at least three new coaches this year, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe more, um, that were hired. How do you feel like they have they been a good addition to the team, or what have they done to really help you guys this season? Um, yeah, they've been good. Uh, we Can have, you name off who the new coaches are? Yeah, yeah, we have Coach Shakur, Coach New, and Coach Coop, uh, Cooper Rhodes. So Coach Cooper Rhodes actually played here at Swasu. Um, he's a sophomore. He's a sophomore right now, but he decided that he wanted to do coaching instead. So he decided... Uh, to come help with the uh, linebackers. Then we have Coach New also with the linebackers and the safeties. And then uh, we have Coach Shakur who handles all the defensive backs. So they've all been pretty good assets on the team, having good uh, standpoints. They all are there to help encourage all of us. So it's been good. All right, and lastly, Nate, what are some personal goals that you would like to accomplish by the end of this season? I think something personally I want to do is I want to be one of the leaders in the GAC for TFLs as well as sacks. I haven't had any yet, but um, for being a defensive end and being a leader in TFLs or tackles or sacks, that's, that's quite an accomplishment, so it's something I definitely would love to complete by the season and also have a winning season as well, so. And you're a junior this year, right? Yeah. Okay, so you still got another year. Yeah, I got, I got another year, so we'll see how it goes. And thank you, Nate, for joining us Thanks as you. well. And we will see you guys next week. Let's go, go dogs. dogs. Here we have Kylie with the inside scoop on the bird scooters here in Weatherford. Let's take a look. All right, Bird Rides Inc. came to Weatherford in mid-March with an agreement between BRI Company and the City of Weatherford. Um, birds can be found all over Weatherford and including on campus. Okay. To get started, you'll scan the QR code on the app and the app will immediately show you all the nearest birds and location in your area. Uh, to get it going, you will release the brake and lift up the kickstand and just get on the ride and go. Bird encourages riders to use a helmet when operating the motor scooters and they offer a free helmet if willing to pay for shipping from the company. Um, it is required by law to wear a helmet when riding the motor scooters and you are supposed to have a valid driver's license and be 16 years of age.